This video is about lonely people have better self-awareness. I'm going to explain the power of being alone and isolated and how that can improve your overall self-awareness. To find out more, please stay tuned to this video. Welcome to the SCG Show. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and turn your life around with my sponsor, BetterHelp. The link is in the description below. What is the definition of loneliness? Loneliness is the state of being alone and feeling sad about it. Your loneliness may lead you to sit at home listening to depressing music, or it could inspire you to go out and meet people. You could be alone and enjoy every minute of it, but from time to time, most people experience loneliness. Now what's the definition of self-awareness? Self-awareness is the ability to focus on yourself and how your actions, thoughts or emotions do or do not align with your own internal standards. Now why and how on earth do these two things go hand in hand, aka the negatives of the positive or the yin to the yang? The inspiration behind this video came from a young man I met years ago who told me these words which haunted me forever. He said, I can't be alone, especially for a long period of time. If I'm alone, I break down and cry remembering all of the mistakes I've made. That is why I distract myself with work, friends, going out. I cannot sit at home. I adopted this actual philosophy from my 20s. I went out all the time. I was never home. I was always with people or go out just to be out for the sake of it. I couldn't bear the thought of staying at home and like that guy said, facing my problems or as the philosophers put it, staring into the abyss, aka my dark thoughts. Ever since around three or so years ago, when I left a toxic relationship and officially became single, I've been far lonelier than at any other period of my life. Put into context the pandemic, the lockdowns, and that ramping up to a whole new level of loneliness. But this is not a video to make me feel better about myself at all. It actually made me realize how more self-aware I've become as a result. And that is the focus of my thoughts, actions and emotions aligned by my standards. I don't currently have many friends anymore because we drifted apart, many have moved on, got married or we've fallen out. I'm dating as I'm single at the moment, so therefore I don't have a romantic partner in my life to go out for a meal with, spend time with, compared to many others who are in serious relationships. I don't go out nearly as much as I used to, purely because I find it rather boring. I absolutely milked it in my 20s, to the point where it became exhausting, not to mention expensive. Lonely people are far more self-aware. Let me explain this in more detail. If you're enjoying this video, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support the SCG show by becoming a member. The link is in the description below. Lonely people have done something a large majority of people never do in their entire life. And that is they've stood up for themselves. They stood up for what they believed in and as a result, they may have had to cut ties with people and suffer socially. If you're new to my content, you may be unaware that I suffered from a gambling addiction for a long time. I suffered in silence, but I also made friends who were just as addicted as I was, or in some cases even worse. They had revolved their entire lives around going to a casino, placing a bet on. It was a very dark and twisted time for me. I'd find myself going all the time with these guys, and even leaving other places with other friends to catch up and gamble. I gambled from time to time until the addiction really got a hold of me, when I was doing it all the time. Long story short, when I finally knew it was time for me to quit for good, I had to inform my so-called friends of my decision. In the pit of my stomach, I knew, I don't think I'll ever see these guys again if I quit. All they wanted to do was go to the casino and gamble, never meet outside and do something else. I was going to say goodbye to five years worth of friendship, as these guys did not respect my decision of sobriety. They abused and gaslighted me, criticised me for doing so, despite my insisting on meeting up outside of gambling altogether. Let's go for dinner, I said, drinks, whatever. Must we gamble? Hardly any of them replied, nor showed up, nor called or text. And just like that, by standing up for myself, I became more self-aware than ever before. Aware to the fact that these people were not really my friends. 
to the fact that I chose the right healthier path for me and they didn't support my choice. The fact that I stood up for myself and they chose to keep me down. In fact, they wanted to be an anchor and bring me down back to their level. Remember, if you're alone right now, you most likely stood up for what you believed in and as a result, cut ties with the following people. A toxic ex-partner you were dating or married to. Friends, family members, maybe a boss, a workplace, a colleague or a certain lifestyle. Salute your victory. Rather than wallowing in self-pity for standing up for what you believed in and basically without realizing improving your life and your mental health firstly i'd like to take a moment to tell you about my official channel sponsor BetterHelp. i've personally used BetterHelp, and i found it to be so effective for completely turning my life around for the better BetterHelp is an online portal that provides direct-to-consumer access to behavioral health services. The online counseling and therapy services are provided through web-based interaction such as phone and even text communication. BetterHelp gives you four live sessions a month and unlimited messaging in between sessions, as well as access to the group therapy webinars that get updated each and every week. You can sign up for the BetterHelp online counseling service below. By using that link, you'll be supporting the SCG Show community. So turn your life around with my channel sponsor, BetterHelp. The link is in the description below. Whether you've realized it or not, if you're currently lonely, you may have forgotten how much you've changed as a person. I'm 34 at the time of re-recording this, but I'm a shadow of a man that I was at 32, and certainly the opposite of the guy I was in my 20s. A little thing called life happened, personal growth, tragedy struck, not to mention taking some very bold and very brave decisions. When we initially make these decisions, like becoming sober from an addiction, we think, I'm just not going to do that vice anymore. But it's so much more than that and has had such a more everlasting and impactful change on our lifestyle overall. Let's talk about self-love. It was no surprise that I absolutely hated the man I was when I gambled. It was embarrassing. I felt ashamed, disgusted. To the point that even associating myself with casinos, lowlifes, debts, betting shops, makes my skin crawl. How could I honestly start loving the person I am or feel enough if my actions didn't meet my standards? That's why I've changed. When I gambled, I never loved myself. Instead, I loathed who I was, resulting in my actions negatively affecting my life. Let's talk about self-belief now. When I took the brave decision to walk away from a toxic relationship of four years back in 2019, words could not describe how low my self-belief was. I genuinely thought I was nowhere near good enough for anyone after my confidence took a complete battering. I developed a complex. I could not work out who I was, what I wanted. I was utterly lost. However, time, healing and a hell of a lot of work and self-discovery got me back on my feet to the point that I believed in myself now more than ever. If I can walk away and stay away from a person like that, I said to myself, I could do so much more in life. And finally, interests. When I was younger, I was insanely superficial and I desperately chased and sought the validation and attention of the wrong people, toxic, narcissistic people. Now in my 30s, I could not give less of a damn about the fancy things in life, nor do I chase or beg anyone to be my friend, to love me, whatever. Making me far more alone than ever before in my adult life, because my interests and what I enjoy have dramatically changed. Most likely, without you realizing, you've changed as a person. But trust me, that is such a good thing. You are lonely now because, well, your personal and maybe professional circumstances have changed. I mean, since 2020, the pandemic, the whole world has changed. This is in some cases a good thing, in some a bad. But either way, the change has happened. That's life and that's okay. Maybe you've changed where you lived. Maybe you've changed your job or career. Maybe you've changed your relationship status changed your personal interests, completely changed your diet, completely changed your routine, 
completely change your friendship circles or maybe how you socialize with family or possibly you've not changed any of those things at all and things have just happened to you ultimately when circumstances change people are far less uh, likely to be more sociable and far lonelier and spend more time on their own when i chose to become single from a toxic relationship in 2019 i did so towards the end of the year knowing i'd be spending those winter holidays alone that can be indeed a tough time for people when couples are everywhere and in love it's cuffing season and you're alone. No one to cuddle up with, no one to watch a movie with, no one to buy a Christmas present for. I recognised this circumstance. I recognised that I had to do this no matter what because it was the overall choice for my mental health and personal growth. Because you'll never be good enough for the wrong person, the wrong job, the wrong boss, the wrong career, the wrong family, the wrong parents, the wrong path simple as that this is the world we have to accept it for what it is do not try and fake it until you make it because you need to realize that some people some choices some circumstances some paths in life are just not right for us this is where the self-awareness allows you to hopefully become self-accepting too accepting this is earth this is the world this is the life that we live life has changed things have changed the things will not be like they were before and i'm not just talking about the pandemic i'm talking about our personal changes our personal growth they're different now life is not about standing still it's about adapting growing becoming not staying where you are not waving the right flag and even if loneliness is happening right now it's a short-term sacrifice for your personal growth and transformation into the best version of yourself hey if you're enjoying the stg show feel free to make a donation to support my work via paypal the link is in the description below i know what you might be thinking so that's it hey eh? i'm supposed to be on this new path to loneliness because i left a toxic relationship stood up for myself or life happened eh? not at all that's not what i'm suggesting but you must be aware that there is a brand new path ahead of you when I was 28 and going out to nightclubs, casinos, God, three to four times a week, that had a shelf life. I could be 34 and do those things, nothing wrong with that at all, but I'm now on a new path. I thoroughly enjoy a more relaxed, stress-free, laid-back, calm, tranquil lifestyle. One that does not involve me throwing my money down the toilet chasing the party life. I know the party life. I lived in the fast lane, on the edge. I was in that scene and I wanted out. I've been called boring, dull, a bit of a loner by the very people who I used to associate with. And I see that as a compliment. The party lifestyle had a detrimental effect on my mental health, my overall health, and don't even get me started on my finances. Now I take things much slower, calmer, which means I'll probably have to make new friends, new opportunities, which I'm already doing. And I'm at peace with that because I thoroughly know what the alternative's like. I'm not hating on anyone being extroverted, who party till four in the morning, go out all the time, enjoy your life, enjoy yourself. But this is about the people who are lonely and are aware of what and why they are. This is your new path. You can do almost like a soft reboot and go completely in a new direction, redesigning your new life. Since I changed the way I was, I attracted new hobbies, new interests, and even a new girlfriend. Proving that this is the new path and the right path for me. This new path also gave birth to this YouTube channel. Lonely is only forever if you don't have goals, you don't make the effort, you want to own self-pity and you're not doing the work on yourself. But if you put yourself out there, take the risks, pursue passions, go on a date after deciding what you truly want, you'll find yourself in a far better place. All of that requires self-awareness which ironically comes from feeling alone lonely in the first place here's a quick word from my sponsor aura do you know who needs to invest in digital security anyone with something worth protecting and if you're watching this video i'm guessing that's you because like most americans you've spent a good part of your life building a life worth protecting that's why I'm excited to partner with Aura, who is sponsoring the SCG show. Aura is a digital security solution that protects your online accounts, connection and devices with one simple subscription. 
For as low as $10 a month, you'll get alerted to fraud and threats fast. Like if your online accounts or passwords are linked online, or if someone tries to open a bank account in your name or social security number. Aura will protect your devices from malware and encrypt your Wi-Fi connection so you can shop, bank and stream online securely. All plans come with $1 million in identity theft insurance to help recover eligible losses and experience US-based customer support that's got your back. For hardworking Americans who've worked their whole lives to build a life worth protecting, I strongly recommend Aura. So if you want a secure online presence from hackers, scammers, and noisy advertising companies, go to Aura.com slash SCG show. And when you use my link below, you'll get up to 40% off all plans. So sign up to Aura today. The link is in the description below. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe.